Ladies and gentlemen, the Kennel Club presents Crafts 2004 Best in Show. Curtains part. This year's Ms. best Margaret in show Abbott. judge, Mrs. Margaret Everton, is brought into the ring by the chairman of the Kennel Club, Mr. Ronnie Irving. There she is, Margaret Everton. First dog she had, a toy poodle. The second one, a little bit bigger, an Afghan hound. Again, a highly presented uh, breed. But the principal breed for 35 years has been Great Dane. She's produced champions in all three, in all four colours. And she's judged worldwide and awards CCs in 33 different breeds. A very experienced judge. And the first of our finalists from the Toy Group winner, the From the Toy Group, of course, the Bichon Frise. From the utility group, the Tibetan Terrier. From the Gun Dog Group. The Labrador Retreat. From the Working Group, the Giant Schnauzer. On the pastoral group, the old English sheepdog. And from tonight's terrier group, the Scottish terrier, the Scottish. Finally, from the Hound Group, as you've just seen, the Whippet. So, what is Margaret Everton going to make? of this lineup of seven wonderful dogs. She's going to take a walk down the line first. She'll have a look at each of them, the Bichon first. This is the American champion, Perez, I told you so. And then on to the Tibetan Terrier. She just walks down the line, past the lab, the giant Schnauzer, Old English, the Scotty, and the Whip. A preliminary look. Then she'll move back to the center, those and she'll start to judge them. So here we go, the, the judging show. of the best Is in show. The Secretary of the Midland Counties Championship show. 
And here comes the first of our finalists. It is testament to the temperament of these wonderful show dogs. Now all the booing is because there's been a protest in the ring to one side, which is being swiftly removed. Now let's get back to the business of the evening. This is the Bichon Frise, the first of our finalists. Margaret Everton going to come round. Look, testament to the temperament of these show dogs that it doesn't matter what happens in this ring, be it lights, spotlights, they just cope with everything. Standing there beautifully to be gone over by the judge. This is the Bichon Frise American champion, Pares. I told you so. He's five years old. This is Buster's big moment. He was bred in America by Paul Flores and Trey Pittman and is owned by Michael Code, Phyllis Sewell and Laurie Hornfeld. Well, this Bichon Frise has come a long way, but 50 best in shows in the United States. Absolutely amazing. This beautiful dog is judged on the qualities for its breed. Remember, we're looking for a dog that has equilateral triangle between its eyes and the point of its nose. We're looking for a dog with a nice coat, a white, bright, pearlescent coat, and a dog that can move and show its athleticism. And look at this dog go. This is extraordinary. Michael Code has got this dog in magnificent shape in a short time and is really showing this ring and what a great show dog can be. That's what we've got for ring, show ring attitude here. A real show dog. A superb performance there from Buster, the first of our finalists. Well, next there on the table, the we table, have the, the winner of the utility, utility group, group, the Tibetan Terrier. The Tibetan this dog Terrier. with the extraordinary name, champion Iraqi, fabulous Willie. <laughs> Pet name is Willie. He's a dog, of course, two years old. Mark Kokosa handling there in the ring, owned there by Neil Smith and Mark Kokosa, where they live in London. And in the, the hands-on group. examination that Margaret Everton is giving the dog now, very important. They and may all look glamorous on the nice. surface, but she's going over the anatomy, the construction, shoulder, rib cage. Very important that the dogs are well built, able to move well. On top of that, she's looking for breed type and judging the dog against its breed standard, looking to see how close it is to perfection. And then we have performance, the dog giving the good performance, having show ring attitude. This dog is going very well. He's developed into one of our top show dogs over the past year. Well, he is the top uh, winning utility dog this year. And uh, Mark says he's absolutely speechless because uh, they're such endearing dogs, very easy to live with. He's absolutely thrilled to have won the group. Now he's in the final. We move on now to the winner of the gun dog group. Now, if I was a betting person, I'd say that there's an awful lot of people at home who are thrilled to bits that there's a black Labrador in this final. This one, show champion Tulloch Moore, final edition. He's four and a half years old. His name's Ace, and he lives with Diana Downey Tulloch in Ayrshire. So they've come a long way, uh, all the way down here, and done absolutely brilliantly with this lab. Well, it's wonderful that we see one of the most popular breeds in the world gracing Cruft's ring for the first time in many, many, many years. You've got to look at the function of these dogs, though. It's not just a popularity contest, although that can't hurt. <laughs> that's, <laughs> popularity that's a contest. wonderful temperament, it quite is. unfazed by the occasion. That's right, and if a Saluki did that, it wouldn't be appropriate, but the Labrador is an outgoing, happy dog. That beautiful coat, very important, water resistant, the tail like a rudder in the water, and look at this dog just showing exactly what a Labrador is all about. Happy game, a dog that can do its work all day and still curl up in front of the fireplace. I thought it was a very sneaky attempt to bribe the judge. Now, there you go. I'm sorry. Well, it's the giant schnauzer. Well, when we saw this uh, on Saturday, we, well, just wept. Beautiful. Champion Japrak Philippe Olivier, a three year old dog, pet name Philip. Owned by Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Cullen from Hastings in East Sussex. I inadvertently said that uh, Kevin was Irish the other day, but actually it's his mother-in-law who's Irish. But it doesn't matter because it, he has a little good luck charm, doesn't he, Frank? He, he does. Uh, Kevin's mother-in-law sends him some holy water, and before he goes in the ring every time on these big occasions, splashes himself with some holy water and the dog. So will it work tonight? Well, He's it a work marvel to get him to win the group. <laughs> He's a marvellous show dog, bred in a famous kennel of Jack and Francis Carl down in Rygate in Sussex. Wonderful dog. And we, saw, club sorry, we say, saw this dog last year. We went nuts. And this year, he's looking even better. He does. He looks fantastic. They, they say, actually, just before the show, he caught me a rabbit. And that's why his coat is looking so gorgeous. Right? He, he you never in, know me. 
came in the ring tonight looking a million dollars. A very nice performance. Yeah, shows absolutely beautifully, it's fine. This is one strong lot. Now we have just a young dog here, the second one with an American connection. This is the Old English Sheepdog who won the pastoral group. Berkshire, born in the USA with Brinkley. He is just 21 months old, known as Bruce at home. I think Wayne has a little story behind that one. He was bred in America by Jane Collin and Jane Shanker and uh, is uh, now owned by Pam Tomes here in the UK. Well, this is a breed that has to have a very large head, a capacious skull. It has a rolling gait, a very different top line, a bobbed tail and that profuse coat, but a protective one at, at that. And this Berkshire Kennels from Wisconsin in America has been producing very good dogs, and I think this is quite a partnership between Sometimes the English ownership and the breeder and co-owner from America, Sometimes putting together a marvelous package here, and a very big surprise. And of course, in America, we'd all be chanting brews right about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he topped a marvelous entry. International the champions from all over dog. Europe were there, and he downed a lot of them to win this. And Frank, would I be right in saying that a big coated breed like this, at 21 months, he's really only just coming to he's, the beginning of his best? He's not yet at full maturity, but he's a marvellous dog already. High maintenance breed, to get them looking like that takes an awful lot of work. I think all dogs take an awful lot of work, but some more than others. And uh, Well, this is a very smart little chap, this Scottish Terrier, which won the Terrier group tonight, champion Raglan Rose Maiden at Brio, this important dog, three years old. And she bitch, of course, called Puzzle. Comes from Berkshire, top terrier of 2003. He struts his stuff, doesn't he? She certainly does, a wonderful bitch. She comes from a very successful kennel in Sweden. Dan Erickson bred her, and Jane Miller has her here. She's also a very successful breeder. Underneath that black coat, strong, sturdy body, short back, tail set, bang on top, and a clean skull and long, powerful foreface. When you put her on the floor, she'll go very well. Striding out, holding that top line. You know, at this level, all the dogs are pretty close to breed perfection. How they do the performance on the night might make all the difference between champion or runner-up. And for those of us sitting around the ringside, of course, we don't get our hands on the dogs. And that's what you were talking about, the, the confirmation. The judge must get the hands on to see what's under the coat for the heavy coated one. Now, this bitch has had a very long day. She's been here since 9 o'clock this morning, competing the breed ring, the group, but she's still putting on a good performance now. The others, they've had a day off, so she's doing very well. And we're looking for a performance that's appropriate for the breed, too. They each have to act like their breed character. Lovely the shot of the Scotty there. She looks like she's about to go and deal with some small piece of vermin. Look at her. <laughs> Full of feistiness. Now Margaret Whatever Everton moves on to our last finalist, another one who's come hot foot from the Hound Group. This is the Whippet champion Cobbico Call the Tune. She's a three-year-old bitch, Dee Dee. Absolutely beautiful lines there. She is handled by Lynn Jacoby Wright, who bred her and line. also owns her. They come from Stockport and Cheshire. Competing. A beautifully elegant bitch. Lovely expression, beautiful coat and skin, and again, clean aesthetic lines. Nothing to hide on a whippet. You have to go over them, appreciate the confirmation, and then watch how they go. You do, and again, we're looking for the appropriate outline for this breed, which is a rise over the loin, a different top line than certainly the Labrador, certainly the Bichon. This is a very elegant breed, but meant to have a job, which is coursing with its eyes, not hunting with its nose, hunting with its eyes, and those beautiful dark eyes are a tribute to the history of this breed. And the beautiful, smooth, daisy-cutting action, holding that rise over the loin as she moves. That's very important. Well, I think all seven have put on fantastic performances this evening. They're all right on their game. Uh, who says dog showing isn't showbiz? It is. <laughs> it's, it, it is a tremendous show, this. And now, well, we may get them moved again. I think we probably will before Margaret Everton finally decides. She'll have them moved just straight away from her and back. And, of course, that means you will have seen them move in every direction, from the side, side arm, half arm, and so on. Yes, so looking for really drive good. from the rear and looking for parallel action as the dog comes towards her. And That's Michael, testament to good construction. And Michael Code moving this beautiful Bichon at just the right speed and pace for that breed. Great job. He's a marvellous handler, isn't he? Gets the best out of all of his charges. He does. And here's another good handler, Mark Picosa, taking fabulous Willie for another little walk. <laughs> I have to say, this is tremendous response from the audience because today 
is uh, we're, we're talking about terriers and hounds. That's what most of the people in the audience have been supporting all day, and we're looking back to uh, this marvellous utility dog. Yes, great enthusiasm from all of the audience for all of the breeds. Real dog lovers here. I love this Labrador, very understated, not exaggerated in any way, workmanlike, superb substance. I've got to tell you, 1937 was the last time a lab won Crufts. Well, uh, that could one's it putting be? on a good enough performance to do it tonight. Let's see. The giant ah, but he's got to get past this one. This is a tremendous dog, isn't it? Philip, this three-year-old dog. Oh, oh, he still looks marvellous. Ultimate show dog, and Kevin, he's only been doing it a few years. He's remarkably calm, composed, wonderful handler. Great teamwork. The and the bobtail as well. Well, I mean, I've not had my hands on this one. Have you, Frank, do you know this one? No, he's a young dog. He had a great, great career as a junior, so uh, I hope to meet him sometime. <laughs> yeah, he's lovely. He's moving nicely. My, well, I wouldn't like uh, Margaret Everton's job there, actually. Who you said judging of, is easy? Yeah, uh, you think it's, it's a sinecure coming in. They're all great dogs. Pick one you like, but uh, tough. Nice round of applause from all the terrier enthusiasts who, of course, are still sitting here watching the big ring, having been treated to the pleasure of watching the group judged by Ronnie Irving earlier on. I thought when we came to Crufts this year that it was probably the most open show we'd have for years, and I think so it's proved by the collection that we have here. There's been nothing that's been, you know, well, well that's the definite winner, though I, I lean towards the schnauzer. And the whippet. Well, I think it could be a... I think it's pretty much black and white today. I think it's either going to be the giant schnauzer or the beetle. Oh, don't the leave out the lovely oh, little whippet. She's going beautifully. Are you going for the whippet, Jess? Ooh, I'm not being a betting person yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. The boards are coming out, so Margaret Everton has made her mind up. I think this it may well be a truth. black dog tonight. I think one of the black dogs. Well, there's three there. Uh, well, I always hedge my bet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need any holy water for that bet, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a there last walk down the line there. Seven very diverse breeds, judging them against their breed standard, judging them on their performance on the night. That's what it's all about at this level. What a great tribute to no, purebred dog gentlemen. breeding and these dedicated owner breeder handlers that have brought these dogs here tonight. Magnificent. Wow. A Each time she look. gets to a different breed. Time's there. running out, Margaret. This is where you've got to do it. You don't have any further time. You've got to make a decision crowd well, cheering for their favorites absolutely it's such an honor to be judge of best in show at Crufts. she'll be loving this moment she's going to decide which dog goes into the history books how do those handles feel now i wonder she's taking a very strong look at the schnauzer she's going back to look at the whippet she's gone for the whippet she's gone it for it that's it. it well on Call the tune she's called. She's Absolutely splendid. Ca champion Kabiko call the tune. Three year old bitch known champion as Dee Dee. Dee Dee done it. That's fantastic. And the reserve. I don't think she can leave out the chance. She can. She's gone for the Scotty. The Scotty gets the reserve. Well, it must be. It's a sensational group. Seeing these seven there, wonderful Champions dogs. Regular. Anyone could have won it. The Whippet's taken it. The Scotty is second. And the two dogs who've had a very long day today. What a performance. Well, I think she judged rather well. It was a very splendid. We're coming up shortly now to the presentation. But what a moment for that marvellous Whippet. Thank you, Margaret, for a very exciting final. And this arena is now sorting itself out whilst you look at the gorgeous head of Dee Dee. Isn't Dee that a Dee picture of it. composure? She's just won Best in Show at Crofts. And the Whippet looks like, well, when are we going for a walk, Mum? Look That's at that face. Wonderful Whippet temperament. Alert. 